in this part of video i will discuss on recent papers 2019-20 in aeronautics first question gingival sulcus bleeding is seen in which type of trauma class 1 ellis class 2 ellis concussion subluxation the answer is d subluxation now second question sudden pain and swelling in maxillary anterior non vital teeth with radiographic lesion it is seen in periapical granuloma condensing osteitis symptomatic apical abscess asymptomatic apical abscess the answer is c symptomatic apical abscess next question tender on percussion positive is seen in symptomatic asymptomatic irreversible pulpitis symptomatic irreversible pulpitis symptomatic apical periodontitis asymptomatic apical periodontitis the answer is symptomatic apical periodontitis next question best cold test for pulp vitality dry ice 1112 tetrafluoroethane ethyl chloride frozen syringe eye stick the answer is A. Dry eyes. Next question. During excess cavity preparation, all about get slid and drills are true except these are end cutting instrument, cuts dentin while retrieval used in straight canals, number 1 to 6 with 0 0.5 to 1.5 millimeter. Which one is not true? Answer is these are end cutting instrument. Option A is not true. Now the next question, which is not a retrograde filling material? Option A, diacate, MTA, super EBA, endomethazone. The answer is D, endomethazone. Action of carbamide peroxide in bleaching is, answer is release of H2O2. Next question. Which is not a supplement technique of local anesthesia for doing RCT. Interligamental is supplemental, intraosseous is supplemental, intrapalpal is supplemental, but inferior alveol is not supplemental. It is the main technique actually. So the answer is C. Next question Barbed brooch is inserted in root canals to remove. Option A, loosened debris in necrotic canals. Now next question, which is true about gutta percha points? Option A, color coded. Option B, bonds to dentin. Option C, it contains 50, uh, to 50, 40 to 50% gutta percha. The last option D, can be heat sterilized. The true sentence is color coded. Option A. Now the next question, IOP of arch bar on maxillary teeth was given, patient have history of fall resulting in lateral luxation of 1121 and subluxation of 1222. According to 2012 International Association of Dental Traumatology guidelines, uh, which of the following is correct? Use of arch bar is contraindicated, extraction of 1-1 one, one and 2-1, rigid fixation of 1-1 one, one and 2-1, flexible splinting in respect to 1-2-2-2, two, two, two. use of arch bar is correct. The answer is A, use of arch bar is contraindicated. Because arch bar is a rigid fixation, we need here flexible splinting. So use of arch bar is contraindicated. This is the correct sentence. Now next, a 12 year male reported after trauma with labial luxation and maxillary of maxillary central incisor. Treatment plan is weight and watch, repositioning of teeth and RCT, lumpectomy, splinting alone. Answer is B, repositioning of teeth and RCT. Now the next question, Endodontic infection from which tooth can commonly give rise to palatal abscess? It's a very common question but very important too. The answer is A. Non-vital lateral incisor. 
the infection from non vital lateral incisor can spread uh, to the palate and give rise to palatal abscess next question rubber dam was given by answer is bone cord option b uh, sorry option c option c is the answer rubber dam was given by option c burnu 15 after trauma immediate vitality test is done to check answer is a for baseline comparison next question dull 16 number question focus on 16 number question dull throbbing pain of pulpal origin is carried out by answer is b unmyelinated c fiber focus on 17 number question mta in apixification forms a part of answer is a root end filling now craze line in enamel is seen on translumination edge option a light will be transmitted through the crown with fine lines in enamel now we will go to the next page Anesthetizing pulp of first molar with inferior alveolar nerve block using lignocaine takes how much time? Answer is C. 12 to 15 minutes. 20 number question. In electric pulp testing, which nerve fibers will get activated? Answer is A. Delta. Next question. 21 number. Diagnosis of crack tooth syndrome is best done by radiograph subjective symptoms and vertical percussion palpation and vertical percussion pulp testing the crack tooth syndrome diagnosis is very difficult only options there are many options actually but here the answer is subjective symptoms and vertical percussion option number b now see uh, 22 number question Best emergency treatment for symptomatic irreversible pulpitis in posterior mandibular tooth is pulpectomy, MTA, largest canal pulpectomy, pulpotomy. 22 answer is D, pulpotomy. Now setting time of biodentin is number 23. The answer is C, 9 to 12 minute. Now the 24 number question. When should the RCT performed for a patient who had tooth avulsion and re-implantation within 20 minutes of avulsion? The answer is B. After 7 days. Next question 25. Direction of vertical root fracture is mostly in. The answer is buccolingual plane. Next question. 26. Bio-race endophile is? Answer is B. Second generation endophile. Now the next question. Root fracture for middle third of tooth is generally treated by? Root fracture for middle third of the tooth. The answer is reposition and splint. Next question. Which root conditioning is contraindicated with MTA? EDTA, citric acid, tetracycline, polyacrylic acid. The answer is A, EDTA. Next question. Lateral luxation should be treated with what type of splinting? Flexible. Lateral luxation should be treated with flexible splinting. Next question. In uncomplicated crown fracture, which all are involved? In uncomplicated crown fracture, enamel involved and dentin involved. So the answer is C. Now, Bartusi classification 3. The answer is D. 1 to 1. Maximum film thickness of sealer is less than 50. Answer is B. Now, a child has fallen from stairs. His maxillary central incisors are broken. Uh, what 
is the diagnosis you can see the pulp exposed pulp tissue so the answer is l is class 3 now according to kim's classification define the root canal morphology shown in the image answer is b type 2 now while doing excess cavity preparation the excess cavity should have all orifices positioned entirely on the pulp floor and should not extend into an axial wall which is done answer is to prevent mouse hole effect mouse hole effect i am going little fast you can take a snapshot of this question the answer is a to prevent mouse hole effect now what is isolite it's a isolating system next so the last question for today's discussion apex located with zero reading represents major apical foramen